what are the tool set and the skill sets which are required for you to make a career in the field of marketing analytics. Now, whenever I talk about making a career in any field, I break the requirements, I split the requirements into three types. One is the mindset, second is the skill set and the third is the tool set. And only when you have these three components with yourself, only then you will be able to excel in that career journey. And in this video, my objective is to share with you that what is the tool set which you would require to make a good career in the field of marketing analytics and aligned with that tool set what are the various skills which are involved in there so that you can start preparing for them right now when you are in your MBA program. Hi, I'm Darpan Saxena, an MBA graduate from IIM Udaipur and let's get on with the video. Now, marketing analytics is a field which is fairly new. I'll not say it's new, but then compared to the other career options which we have after MBA, marketing analytics is something which is fairly new and it is something which is well appreciated by the industry. And why do I say that? Because you can see it from the kind of offers which are there in this field. So, for example, when I was in my MBA at IIM Udaipur, some of the best job offers were in the field of analytics and therefore for me this video becomes very important because i would want you to know that what are the various tools which you need to be very good on right now if you want to make it good in this career so even if your pre-mba work experience is not in the field of analytics you can still work on these tool sets and the allied skill sets so that you become a good candidate for any marketing analytics sort of a role. So there are a plenty of tools which will help you to execute your responsibility of marketing analytics. However, for you to understand that what are the tools which you need to prepare, I have split them into three tiers of a pyramid. And from there you will actually understand that what are the skill sets and the tool sets which are very important and which you must have and how if you want to progress in this journey of analytics what are the other tools which you need to acquire so that you can progress well so the first and the most basic tool set which you require if you want to get started in the field of analytics is the most simplest and something which you would have already expected it is that you need to be good at ms excel Almost everybody who is in the field of marketing needs to know good Excel. They, you need to have good Excel skills. And especially for somebody who wants to get into analytics, you need to know Excel like crazy. Because Excel is the most simplest tool in which you can perform analytics. So even if you are not an expert in some of the fancier tools, if you know Excel, there are a lot of job roles which want you to have a very good hand at excel now again when i'm talking about these three stages what you also need to understand is that the reason why i have split them into three stages is because different job roles require to be at a different stage among these three and hence you need to do the process of back hacking the placements which i've shared with you in another video of mine it is one of my most favorite ideas which i've shared with you that if you're an mba student you need to start off by back hacking your placements and back hacking your placements is all about finding the goal and then checking out what are the skills important for that role that goal and once you know that say suppose for the organizations which you aim for in this field of analytics all they are expecting you to to be good at is in ms excel then that is the skill which you have to have and excel is something which you need to learn as an mba student from there what is the stage two of this pyramid if you want to progress in the field of analytics and if you want to get into slightly more advanced roles in this field then here comes the stage two wherein you need to learn business intelligence tools for example tableau 
Power BI and also SQL. Now SQL is Structured Query Language and it is very important because that will help you build the pipeline of data which will feed it into these Power BI or these Tableau sort of tools and from there you would be able to analyze and visualize all of the big data which you have with you. Hence this is the second layer which you would have absolutely understood that it is far more complex than the first layer of knowing only Excel. Also at this point it is important for me to share with you that what exactly are the differences between the stage 1 and the stage 2. So while you can do a lot of things with Excel, you can do data manipulation, you can do visualization and you can also do projections. You can do all of these things. But when you move into a tool like a Tableau or a Power BI, what you are able to do is that you are able to do all of these things in a much more sophisticated, in a much more insightful and complex way. So for example, these tools, especially the kind of visualizations which you can create in these is far more effective than what you can create in an MS Excel. One more advantage which you have in these stage two marketing analytics tools is that the kind of slicing and dicing of the entire data which you can do on these tools is exceptionally amazing. It's more insightful, it's more in depth and complex than what you can do on an MS Excel. In most of the circumstances, you will even observe that the same thing which you can do in an Excel as well as in some of these kind of tools, it will be far more easier for you to do those things in these stage two tools than it will be for you to do in MS Excel. The same thing if you were to do in MS Excel, it is going to be far more time consuming and far more complex. Hence, Progressing to these stage two tools is very important because they make analytics much more powerful and impactful. And also, if the job role which you are aiming for after your MBA or from wherever you are, if your job role clearly want you to have these stage two tools, then you need to have both stage one and stage two. I think it's very important for you to have an understanding of both these tools for sure. And from there, I'll move on to the third stage, the third set of tools which you should acquire for analytics if you want to really get deep and go way ahead in this field of analytics. And these are the complex languages of Python and R. Now, when I'm using the word complex, it is not because that these languages are tough to understand. No. When I'm saying complex, I mean to say that the kind of things which you can achieve with uh, Python and R and yes, obviously here also I need to include an SQL. The kind of things which you can do with these things are very different and they will have a different impact altogether than what you can do from your stage two or obviously the stage one tools. Once you reach the stage three, you're basically opening up the doors to far more complex predictive analytics and machine learning algorithms. And that is the trajectory which you need to follow if you really want to get a good jump start or a good future career in this field. That is the eventual objective. But instead of complicating it for yourself, that instead of trying to straight away hop onto all of that, you could also see it as a stepwise progression. And yes, obviously, if the job role which you are aiming for want you to have stage three, then yes, probably you could head on to stage three directly without really working on the stage two. But stage one is mandatory for all MBA students. So again, if I were to simplify it for you, if you are an MBA student, if you're an MBA aspirant, you for sure need to get through the stage one, which is MS Excel. You need to know Excel for sure because it is required in any job role which you want to be in. And from there, stage two or stage three, it depends on the kind of job role, the kind of intensity of analytics with which that job role is expecting from you. So therefore, you should go ahead and do back hacking of your placements, try and find out that what job role you are aiming for and that job role requires what kind of sophistication in their analytics and what kind of tool sets they are expecting you to have. So I'll give you an example of what are the kind of interesting things which you can do in your job with this tool set of 
marketing analytics so for example when i was working as a product head at an education company one of the objectives which i had for myself was that i wanted to create a segmentation algorithm through which i can segment the various students based on a lot of variables a few of the variables were like for example what were their scores in class 10th and 12th and the under graduation then from there another set of variables were how they had performed in our mock exams which our organization used to conduct for example how many mocks have they attempted what is their average and median scores in their mocks and how frequently have they been appearing for these exams and then a few other variables were that whether they are engineers or non-engineers so on and so forth so using all of these variables i had to create an algorithm for myself so that i can understand my audience and i can tweak my product in a way that it could be far more helpful to each of these segments the good thing is that when i was in my mba i had learned r i had focused on learning r and i could use my skills of r language in order to create this algorithm so if i still have that code i will share it with you on the screen right now so that you can uh, see it i created this algorithm from which i could use up the, our existing user base data and i could create a test analysis of how well this algorithm is working so here it was an example of how you can use analytics to solve problems even if you are not in an analytics job per se so i hope you've completely understood that what are the tool sets which you need to have if you want to make a career in the field of marketing analytics mba is a good time and place for you to prepare for this and even if you have no prior experience of it you can make it because this is a new field not a lot of mba students have experience in this and therefore the competition is low if you can get the kind of tool sets and skill sets you will be able to make a solid career in this field